Hey YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, the American African. Today I want to talk about obesity. You know, not scientifically, just naturally. and Just a natural discussion about obesity, you know? You know, when I started my journey in 2019, I had finally came to the realization that obesity is a disease. You know? I'm not comparing it to any disease. But I have to say it like this. Just think of like cancer. People get cancer. They beat cancer. Sometimes they get it back. You just think of any disease, man. It can be treated. But there is no true cure. There's treatment for sure. There's treatment. So much different treatments. But cures? No. You might say treatments for obesity. What's the treatments? Weight loss is a treatment for obesity, you know, but the true oh, treat, the true treatment, right, for obesity is like lifestyle management, you know, learning that, okay, from here on out, what I need to do is eat like this and not like this, okay, or cut this out or low carb diet or Mediterranean diet, but it's like, it's lifestyle changes, not just temporary diets, but changes, okay. Then there's also things that you can add into your repertoire, of course, like exercise. But overall, th these things, I see them as treatments, you know. I see them as treatments because something that no one wants to hear. And if you need strength right now, maybe you don't want to hear this. You can cut the video. But obesity is something that I truly believe, especially morbid obesity, that once you have it, you're going to battle it for life. And this is the thing. You could lose weight and be skinny. You could still suffer from obesity, you know? You could still have those insane cravings, something that's pushing you to overeat the way no one else overeats, overconsume the way no one else overconsumes. The way that thoughts of food will take over your mind will be like no one else's. And no one will understand because no one can read your mind, see your mind. People will just say, why'd you regain weight? What happened? Well, just think about it. Why is it that I can sit here and eat eight pints of ice cream? Someone else could sit there and eat just a fourth of it and put it away and not touch it for a, a week, a month. You know, people really believe it's willpower. It's, um, it's this and it's that. But if I eat that ice cream and then the next day I want more, my willpower can tell me. And I can use willpower to abstain and stay away, right? But the fact that I still want it after I had all of that, that's something else. You know, that's that thing in my stomach that's different than people who've never had obesity, never been overweight. That's that thing in my stomach, you know? There's no really word for it. I call it a worm. Like, I don't know what it is, you know? But I truly believe, like, yeah, someone that's obese... One day, they'll make a surgery where it's like they can take your stomach out and implant the stomach of someone that's never been obese. And then you'll be a completely different person after time, you know. I think it all comes from the stomach. And uh, just uh, yesterday when I was refeeding, was it yesterday or two days ago, whatever, when I was refeeding, I hit a point where I realized like, you know, Sometimes when I eat, I don't stop eating until I'm so full that I can't eat anymore. That's like, if I was to put more food in my mouth, I'd just spit it out, no matter how good it is. And I just said, that's not normal, yo. That's different. That's different. How do you change that? The only way I've seen that I can change it, and this does come down to willpower, is that when I finish a long, long, long water fast, if I decide from now on I'm going to eat like this and I'm never going back to that, I can do that as long as I want. But still, the moment I decide to eat something tasty that's like just completely junk, let's just say, right? The moment I have that, I want it and I want it and I want it. The cravings come back like that. So it's like I've noticed that I have the ability to abstain once I start. But once I dabble... It's very hard to abstain after that. And then it's like the cycle continues. And some people don't understand it. Like, 
Why do you regain weight? Why do you keep gaining weight back? That's why. You know, I used to kind of, kind of, small, small, beat myself up over weight gain, right? But I just keep looking at my overall numbers. If I was 475 pounds in 2019, and I'm 275 pounds now, me personally, I, I can't beat myself up, you know? So I won't let anyone else beat myself up over it. Beat me up over it, you know what I mean? So that's why I don't really post my numbers anymore. Because at the end of the day, my numbers at this point, they're like for me. Um, it does. It is a, a a measure, right? So it helps people to measure like, oh, how I'm doing and where I'm at. And I get it. But I already know where I'm going. So if I post a number and the number is like what other people see as like a negative number. And they say something about it. It can get to me mentally. And right now, how would that help me? It's not going to help me, right? So I only put things or only allow things that's going to help me get to my destination. Because I'm going to get there, right? There's things that can slow me down. And I remove myself from those situations. And I'm tunnel vision for my goal. And that's why I reach my goals consistently over and over again. So it's like this. Is it better that I lose weight? Gain it back. Quit? Or is it better that I lose weight? Gain it back. Lose it again. Gain it back. Lose it again. But eventually beat it. Which one's better? You know? And which one do you want to see? I'm sharing my whole journey. You know? I'm sharing something that's really deep. Really dear. Really close to me. You know, this shit could kill me. But, you know, people still don't see obesity like that, you know? Like, if someone has cancer, you don't say, if they get it back, you don't say, you beat it already. What happened? Why did you, like, you know, because cancer is like this thing that we don't really understand. Or the average person doesn't really understand, right? But obesity is something that's, like, visible, Right, you can see people overeat, you can see people getting bigger, so it's like an eyesore. So people ask, and people question, and people wonder. Even me, though, I won't lie, even me, sometimes I've seen people gain weight, and, and I just be like, What happened? It when I see like a skinny person, like especially during these COVID times, the way I've seen people blown up, I've been questioning, like, Damn, what happened? You know, I'd be thinking about it like that, but when I see an obese person gain weight. Or regain weight. I never question it. I always say, I get it. But it's because I've dealt with it. I've experienced it. You know. That's just my rant of the day. You know what I'm saying? We on day 11. You know, I'm nearly 48 hours back in the fastest state. I'm feeling good, feeling fresh. I still have a loss of taste on my tongue. I don't know if that's from the COVID shot. Or from the, ref from the refeed. You know. But it's back. And, um, oh, yeah, someone asked me what I ate on my refeed. I didn't have a chance to respond. Um, I pretty much had rice and chicken. I had tuna avocado and boiled eggs. And I had macadamia nuts. Those were the things that I had in that span of time, which lasted, maybe it lasted like, what's that, 24 minus 6, like 18 hours? Yeah. But yeah, it's your boy, the American African Man. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.